Next on PIJN News, Dr. Chaps reports on these important issues. Women's sports programs are finally protected in one state, which overrides the governor veto. Another state protects kids from LGBT propaganda in schools, and the Navy invites a transgender recruiter despite record enlistment low rates. Former Navy Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt took a stand to defend religious freedom by daring to pray publicly in Jesus' name. Now he helps you by reporting the news, discerning the spirits, and praying the scriptures. Would you pray with us? Here's Dr. Chaps. God bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt, Dr. Chaps, and you're watching PIJN News. On this show, we like to do three things. We report the news, we discern the spirits, and we pray the scriptures in Jesus' name. Are you ready to pray the news with us? Here's our first story. There is great news coming out of the great state of Kansas this week, as AmericanGreatness.com, AmGreatness.com reports that women and their sports programs are now going to be protected by state law. When the Republican State House actually overrides the Democrat governor's veto, he wanted men competing in women's sports, but the State House said no. Still got to go through the Senate. Uh, hopefully, this will become law in Kansas. But last Thursday, they became the first state to pass a bill defining a woman as a human female. Also, preventing courts and government officials from redefining that word to include somehow biological men who pretend that they're women. The measure, which is being called the most sweeping transgender bathroom law in the US, defines a biological sex as the person's actually biological sex, either male or female, at birth, based on their internal reproductive systems. The Kansas legislator voted 84 to 40. And oh look, the Senate also passed this, 28 to 12, more than two thirds of majority, overriding therefore, the Democrat governor, Laura Kelly, and the veto of uh, April 20th of what had been Senate Bill 180. The bill was known as the Women's Bill of Rights, and it protected real women from being impersonated or, or intruded upon, their privacy and safety violated by men who pretend to be women. The terms woman and girl now refer to human females, which is further defined in law. And the terms men and boy in law now, I mean, it's one thing if you and I use those words, but the law now refers to them as human males, which is also further defined. SB 180 states the new law, which will take effect on July 1st, will apply to schools, locker rooms, prisons, Kansas State prisons are not gonna be co-ed after this. Uh, domestic violence shelters and even rape crisis centers. The measure also has now accommodations for those born with sexual development disorders, including independent women's voice, uh, spokesman Riley Gaines, you know, the swimmer who came in second because she had to compete against a man. <laughs> Riley Gaines is applauding the Kansas legislature's achievements on Twitter. The former competitive swimmer said the following, quote, this bill doesn't create any new laws or prohibit laws from being made and simply codifies the term woman to apply to all legislature that uses the word, end quote. Now, the Kansas governor, Democrat uh, Governor Kelly, when she had earlier vetoed the bill, she made the argument that it was discriminatory and it would hurt the state's ability to attract LGBT businesses, according to Associated Press. But Riley Gaines had the last word. The hero swimmer said this, quote, as a woman and female athlete, I can attest firsthand to the importance of women having private spaces when safety and fairness are at risk. Now that the Women's Bill of Rights will be Kansas law, women have clarity that when they enter a space labeled woman, that biological men will not be lurking inside, end quote. And that's the news. Our thanks to AmericanGreatness.com, AMGreatness.com for that report and uh, citing several other news, news reports. Uh, this is great news for the women of Kansas. This is great news for 
um, fairness in women's sports, for privacy and safety in women's private spaces. This is an important issue for little girls who are not gonna be so vulnerable to men who want to uh, impersonate or, or compete or even invade their privacy and safety. Uh, we discern the spirit of God upon every Kansas legislator who overrid the governor's veto in this case and their views now enacted in Kansas law will line up finally with what the Bible describes in Genesis 5. You know, back in the beginning when God created them male and female and blessed them and called them mankind in the day that they were created. Let's pray about this. Would you take a moment to pray with me? Father in heaven, we pray in Jesus' name for other states to now follow Kansas' great example and enact laws that protect innocent women, that protect little girls, that protect and define roles for, for female athletes and, and to allow their fairness in sports competitions, uh, to allow their privacy and safety to be honored and respected. Uh, but more importantly, Father, that you as a sovereign God who defined us as male and female, that we would respect your definitions in our state laws. We pray this spreads around the country now in Jesus name, amen. Let's take a short break, when we come back, uh, the state of Florida is now enacting protections for children against propaganda in schools. We're here in Israel, in literally the scene of all of the holy sites, like the Via Dolorosa, where Jesus carried his cross, the garden tomb where he was raised from the dead, the Sea of Galilee, where he taught the disciples. And I prayed, Lord, how can I bring this inspiring environment into your living room? And what we've produced is a four DVD disc set with the entire Gospel of Matthew. I teach every verse in all 28 chapters of Matthew in short 12 minute segments so you can understand the exact words that Jesus taught from the exact location where Jesus lived. Pick up the phone right now and call us at 866-Obey-God. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. For a suggested donation of just $50, we'll give you all four discs, the entire Gospel of Matthew, or you can write to us at the address on your screen or visit our website, PrayInJesusName.org. You're gonna love this Bible teaching. Pick up the phone and call us today. Do you need a physical or spiritual healing? Are you being tested or tried? When Jesus needed to pray, he went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Do you need to really connect with God? If you're visiting Colorado Springs, come see the Gateway Prayer Garden just south of the city along Interstate 25. Walk our prayer trails among the trees by the beautiful Fountain Creek. Stand at the foot of our large cross and connect with Jesus. Enter our life-size replica of the empty tomb and spend time reading key Bible verses etched in stone along our ground cross as big as a football field. Join our worship gatherings and plan to attend our annual Easter sunrise worship service. We're located off I-25 exit 132A at 8035 Bandley Road, just north of the KOA campground. Experience Jesus at gatewayprayergarden.org. That's gatewayprayergarden.org. Empowering you, the grassroots activist. Here is Dr. Chaps. Welcome back, I'm Dr. Chaps. Our next story comes from Associated Press, who reports. The state of Florida is now protecting kids from LGBT propaganda in public schools. Florida Republicans last week Wednesday approved bills to ban diversity programs in colleges and prevent students and teachers from being required, that is required, and as if punished if they don't, use pronouns that actually don't really correspond to someone's biological sex. This was a victory and builds on the top priorities of Republican Governor Ron DeSantis. And the two proposals were given final passage by the Republican super majorities in the Florida House and the Florida Senate, and DeSantis by now has signed them into law. Governor DeSantis, who is expected to announce a presidential campaign in the coming weeks, has driven a hardline conservative agenda. Actually, it's kind of a normal agenda if you look at it from God's point of view. And he seeks to bolster support of primary voters before he runs for president. 
So this year in Florida, during the state's legislative session, that was dominated by some cultural issues designed to attract voters who may wanna help DeSantis become president. Republican allies of DeSantis approved his priority bills on, for example, sexual orientation, gender identity, race education. Uh, and last Wednesday, they voted to expand a previous law, which is a major calling card of DeSantis, a sweeping bill that prevents school staffers or students from being required, that is required by law, punished if they don't, they cannot be required to refer to people by pronouns that don't actually correspond to their biological sex. In other words, you can't punish the Christian teacher when he calls a boy a boy and calls a girl a girl for telling the truth. Christian teachers are protected now in Florida. It also bans classroom instruction and recruiting of kindergarten through eighth graders on topics like gender identity, sexual orientation, mandatory lectures to school kids. It legally reinforces a DeSantis administration move to prohibit those kind of lessons in all grades. Additionally, the bill strengthens the system in which people can lodge challenges against school books. Another DeSantis initiative that has led to the removal of pornographic material from public school libraries. Clearly that material is inappropriate for little children. But the Democrats have a different point of view. Uh, Senator Tracy Davis, a Democrat, said this, quote, think about what we're doing, honestly. Think about how this will affect families that don't look like yours. They're still families, they're Florida families, but we're treating them like they're outsiders and, and we're telling them that we don't want them here, end quote. Okay, maybe we do want them here, we just don't want them sexualizing children. There's gotta be a, a cutoff point, right? When, it, when a kid is ready to receive that kind of materials, maybe it's after eighth grade. Seems like a reasonable timeline for me. Republicans, however, said the bill is intended to shield children from sexualized content and reinforce that teachers should conform to existing state curriculums. You know, like going back to teaching reading, writing, and arithmetic instead of hypersexualized content to kids whose parents don't want that. A different Republican Senator, Aaron Grail, said the following, quote, you see society coming at our children in a culture war that has an agenda to make them confused. We are depriving children of the ability to figure out who they are. And when we push an agenda, a sexualized agenda down on a, onto our children, end quote. The House also approved a proposal to ban people from entering bathrooms that do not correspond to their biological sex which is aimed at transgender bathroom use. That's the news. I didn't make any of that up. I just read to you the Associated Press report. You probably didn't see that report on ABC, NBC, CBS. You probably didn't even see that on Fox News. CNN, they would have told, put a different spin on it altogether, but I'm just reading the news. I haven't even given you my opinion yet. And already you, the, the viewing audience are beginning to discern the spirits that are behind this story. Let's take a, take a moment and do that. In this story, we have human actors. We have um, boys and girls going to school. We have teachers over here that wanna say one thing. We have teachers over here that don't wanna be forced to say something else. We have legislators and, and we have a possible presidential candidate. Those are the human actors in the story. Where are the non-human actors in this story? How do we discern the spirit of God the spirit of the demons, the spirit of the angels, we see the, the non-human actors through the lens of human morality as they affect the moral choices of the human actors in the story. So let's take a, a hypothetical scenario, a, a school librarian. Okay, you're a school librarian, and now you're reading this new law, and the, the law now in Florida says, you've got to remove the pornographic material from the children's access. Don't give it to kindergartners. That's just the law. But where are the non-human spirits that are influencing that librarian to make a moral choice to either choose holiness and respect the innocence of the children or to choose sin and to violate the innocence of the children? On one shoulder, 
the Spirit of God might be saying to that public school librarian, respect the children's innocence. Go ahead and obey the law. Get that material out of their access. On the other shoulder, there might be a demonic spirit telling that librarian, you know what? Not only should you disobey the law, but you should put more sexually inappropriate materials in there for children. And, and that librarian now has a moral choice to listen to God or to listen to the devil, and how are they gonna choose? Well, Jesus encouraged us to respect children and let them be innocent, let them come to Christ. He said this in Luke 18. Jesus called the children to himself and said, let the little children come to me. Do not forbid them from coming from, to me, for of such is the kingdom of God. Let's pray about this, would you pray with me? Father in heaven, we pray in Jesus' name for the innocent children of Florida, but in every state in America where these decisions are being made at the policy level, that the children would ultimately be protected, that the parents' wishes would, would prevail, that parental rights would become the policy so that every parent can say, no, not to my child, I'm gonna protect my child until I can have that conversation with them at home and an age that is appropriate to my family. Father, we pray that you bless Governor DeSantis and all the legislators who are trying to do the right thing to protect the children. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's take a short break. When we come back, the Navy is now inviting a transgender recruiter, which is actually hurting recruitment. Hi, I'm Dr. Chaps. I wanna introduce my friend, Mike Lindell, who wants to help support our ministry in the work of PIJN News. Uh, Mike, what do you think? Well, I think everybody out there, y'all need to get behind Pray In Jesus Name's ministry. Dr. Chaps here, but this great ministry needs your support and you, can, you should donate to it. You can also use your promo code Pray News and anything you're getting from my pillow with big discounts, a lot of those proceeds are coming right back. I'm gonna put them right back into this, into your amazing charity and show. Well, thank you, sir. I accept that endorsement and we support your work at mypillow.com. Remember everybody, when you visit, use the promo code PRAYNEWS. You get a big discount and our charity gets a little bit of help. So thank you, Mike Lindell, for your support. They get a lot of help, a little bit, a lot of help. <laughs> we need all we can get for Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You're still looking good. I'm still feeling good. You know, I've got all your MyPillow products. Mattress topper, bed sheets, MyPillows, towels, slippers, blankets, sleepwear. Dog whoa, bed. whoa, Charles. Everyone now can get MyPillow products at huge discounts at MyPillow.com. That's right. Now's the time to go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to take advantage of our three-in-one sale. We're bringing you exciting new products, overstock specials, and closeout deals you won't find anywhere else. For example, when you buy one of our brand new MyPillow 2.0s, you get another one absolutely free. And with our overstock sale, you save 50% on our luxurious Giza Dream bed sheets. That's as low as $29.99 for the best sheets ever. And with our biggest closeout special, you get our all season slippers for only $35 or our sandals and slides for just $25. Quantities are limited and once they're gone, they're gone. Stay tuned for the end of our show to learn how to partner with this ministry. Here's Dr. Chaps. Welcome back, I'm Dr. Chaps. Our last story today comes from American Action News and also Breitbart.com, her reports. The United States Navy is now using a transgender recruiter approved by the Biden administration, but it's actually having the reverse impact. It's hurting the enlistment rates, which are already at a record low. They report, instead of firing a soldier for becoming a uh, conduct on becoming a warrior, the Biden administration has promoted a drag queen to become their national spokesman for recruiting other drag queens to come and join the Navy. I know we're ta not talking about the village people. I know they sang a song about this. I was a Navy chaplain. I've, I've seen the people we might be talking about here, but uh, US Navy employed a man named Joshua Kelly. He's a yeoman, second class, he's an enlisted man, and, but he on stage he goes by the term Harpy Daniels. He's a drag queen influencer and one of their digital ambassadors to enlist, to recruit new members, to join the Navy because then they could be 
better drag queens? So what? I thought they wanted to serve their country. That not that a better, more patriotic appeal? Biden administration says no. So Mr. Kelly participated in the Navy's ambassador program for I guess six months, ending in March of 23. And although Kelly had previously performed as an actual drag queen on the Navy ship, his new role as a digital ambassador was actually kind of a promotion, a national spokesman, if you will, to get, garner more public attention this week after a video of him went viral on social media. It sparked controversy as many questioned the motives behind this recruiting strategy, along with many questions of why the Biden administration is taking a hyper left-wing approach to recruiting for the military. When most people who want to enlist in the military are actually conservatives, they're turned off by this nonsense. But Joshua Kelly, the yeoman, who happens to identify as non-binary, in other words, neither male nor female, he's confused about himself, he expressed gratitude to the Navy for allowing him to share his drag queen experience and advocate for other queer sailors. According to Kelly, he performed his first drag for fellow sailors during a lip sync show on a deployment back in 2017, 2018. And then video for footage surfaced of his second performance on international platforms, and now he's all the rage being promoted by the government, is that the Navy wants more of this. Why is that the government's job? The Navy also defended their pilot initiative, saying it was defend to reach a wide range of potential candidates as the Navy fail, faces their most serious recruiting challenge environment since the start of the all volunteer force. The pilot program ended, the Navy is currently assessing the program and whether or not they're gonna to continue to have drag queens as recruiters in the future. But the Navy has encountered difficulties in meeting their recruiting targets to a mere 13% of Americans, young Americans now describing themselves as highly willing to enlist in the armed forces. 13% of youth want to enlist or are high, highly willing to do so. Uh, that horrific, in my opinion, digital ambassador program was implemented to address this challenge, trying to, to have a broader range of potential candidates, but I think it's backfiring now. Most people watching this ad, conservatives especially, who, who might be drawn naturally by their instinct to enlist in the military, they're being turned off and there's backlash that is actually hurting recruitment numbers that are now lower than ever. Nobody wants to join the Navy, not even the village people. And that's the news. Our thanks to American Action News and Breitbart for that report. Okay, here's my unvarnished opinion as a former Navy chaplain. We need the blessing of God upon our armed forces. The, the armed forces are, are not there for social experiments. They're there for one reason, that is to fight and win America's wars. If you're not gonna go in with the mentality that you're there to protect and defend American interests, especially project those interests overseas, you shouldn't join the Navy. But if you are a patriot, and if you love your country, by all means, please enlist. We need more conservatives in the Navy. We need more Christians in the Navy. As a former Navy chaplain, I plead with you, please serve your country, and don't be too offended by the leftists who want to turn it into something else. The Bible condemns this kind of experimentation as uh, we see in Deuteronomy 22. The Bible says this. A woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man, nor shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all who do so are an abomination to the Lord your God. We're running out of time, but I do wanna give a hat tip to those men and women in uniform who serve their country and say, thank God for you, and we pray for you daily. Take a short break and I'll have a word to conclude the show. Dr. Chaps will be right back with more PIJN News. Hi, I'm Dr. Chaps. You know, I've been spending time in prayer and the word and for years I've been teaching about the baptism in the Holy Spirit. How you can experience the power of God in your life for your own personal or prophetic ministry, just like they experienced in Acts chapter two in the Bible when the apostles were all gathered in the upper room and the power of God descended upon them and they began to speak with other tongues. You know now up to 800 million 
Christians worldwide have experienced the power of the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it's for today, it's for you. And you can have this, or at least the teaching about it, when you visit our website, PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org. Click on the online bookstore at the top, and you can get this new product for a suggested donation of $30. We'll mail it to you right away. Or you can call us at 866-Obey-God. Operators are standing by to pray with you or to order this powerful teaching series. Every mention in the New Testament of the baptism in the Holy Spirit. We talk about the power gifts of the Holy Spirit. We talk about church history of speaking in tongues and great interviews with Lana Heitley and Charles Johnson. You need this product. It'll energize you. Call us right now at 866-Obey-God. For a suggested donation of $30, you get this new DVD teaching on the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Call us today at 866-Obey-God. I'm Dr. Chaps, I have two exciting announcements. For those of you who found us maybe one day a week, did you know we're on five days a week with in-depth analysis and Christian news reporting and we pray the news. Where else are you gonna see that? Here's the exciting news. We're now on Apple TV. We're on five days a week on this exciting new streaming platform, Apple TV. Maybe you've already found us on Roku or Amazon Fire, but Apple TV, look for PIJN News in the spirituality category. And here's my other breaking news. Did you know we're also on podcast? Well, what's a podcast? Well, you can listen to us five days a week on audio, maybe when you're working out at the gym or driving in your car. You can watch the video on your smartphone. Visit iTunes and look for PIJN News. We're also on 10 on-demand platforms. Visit PrayInJesusName.org to find them all. And did I mention it's absolutely free? Other people charge a fee, but ours is free. Subscribe today to PIJN News. Defending your religious freedom, here is Dr. Chaps. Thank you for supporting us and we encourage you to donate when you visit PrayInJesusName.org. We are a viewer sponsored and viewer supported television program. We really need your donations today. Don't postpone it, but the Bible says this in Matthew 6. When you do a charitable deed, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. That your charitable deed may be done in secret. And your father who sees what you do in secret God will reward you openly. Please donate uh, by visiting PrayInJesusName.org or you can call us toll free at 866-Obey-God or just call for prayer, it's free. 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. We'll see you next time. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best financial donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now, 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.